An unbiased die is thrown three times. Write down the probability distribution table for the number of sixes obtained. So if we draw a probability tree diagram, so in the first row we can get a six or not a six. The probabilities are one, six and five, six. On the second row, I haven't got a six. Again, we can get a six and not a six, one, six and five, six. Having uh, not got a six on the first row, on the second row we can get a six and not a six, one, six and five, six. And that process carries on for the third row. And we can calculate the probabilities by um, multiplying the uh, pro uh, multiplying the events because they are independent events. So the probability or sixes will be one six cubed. I've left it like that on purpose. So a six and a six and not a six is five six times uh, five six. So that's the probability of not getting six times one six squared. Again, I left it like that on purpose. And the same with six, not a six, and a six. Five, six times one, six squared. Probability of a six and not a six and not a six is five, six squared times one, six. Probability of a not a six, a six, and a six is five, six times one, six squared. The probability of not a six, a six, and not a six is five, six squared over times one, six. And the probability of not a 6, not a 6, and a 6 is 5, 6 squared times 1, 6. And the probability of no 6s on all 3 is 5, 6 cubed. Right, now if we let x be the random variable, the number of 6s obtained. If we want the probability that x is equal to 0, then that's going to be this one here, which is 5, 6 cubed. If we want the probability of x is equal to 1... So we just want one six, that's going to be there, there, and here. In each of those you get one six. They are all going to be five six squared times one six. And then there were three of them, so we need to multiply that by three. Now the three you can get by doing three C one. Now where does that come from? We want one head from three throws. So selecting one sorry, not head, one six from three throws of the die. Probability that x is equal to 2 will be that one, that one, and that one. They're all 5, 6, 1, 6 squared. And again, there is 3 of those. And again, we can write that from 3c2, because we want 2 6s from 3 throws. And then the pro last one, the probability that x is equal to 3 will just be the top one, which is 1, 6 cubed. Right, writing those out again. And making a table so we've got x uh, can be 0 1 2 3 so for 0 it's 5 6 cubed we're leave, leaving it like that for the moment next one will be 3 c 1 5 6 squared times 1 6 3 c 1 because you want 1 6 from 3 throws and then 3 c 2 because you want 2 6 from 3 throws of 5 6 times 1 6 squared and then one sixth cubed for three sixes. Now, the actual probabilities, it doesn't matter, we can work them out. 125 over 216, 75 over 216, 15 over 216, and 1 over 216. Note that the sum of all the probabilities here is equal to 1. Now, we won't ask for it, but what will the four throws be? The table would be like this. So now we can have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The first one we would be 5, 6 to the power of 4. The next one would be 4, C, 1, because we want 1, 6 from 4 throws. A 5, 6. Um, so 5, 6, because we want 3 of the throws not to be a 6. That's 5, 6 cubed times 1 success of 1, 6. Then 4, C, 2. We want two sixes from four, five six uh, squared. So we want five, um, two times we want not to get a six, and then what two times we want to uh, get a six? That'd be one six squared. For three, we, that's like we want three sixes from four throws. One time five sixes um, 
not a 6 and then 1 6 cubed and then in the final case we get 1 6 fourth. Now these are all examples of what's known as a binomial distribution. So x here would be binomially distributed with n, the number of throws in this case being 3, 1 6. Uh, and this would be x would be binomially distributed with 4 throws and the probability of success being 1 6. These are examples of what's called the binomial distribution, which we're going on to look up. Okay, this has been an example to look at, practical example of the binomial distribution. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.